It's Monday the 12th of June and it's a sticky one. Um, it's uh, been about 30 degrees over the weekend and uh, similar today and I'm already uh, a bit sticky. Um, it's a little later than normal uh, recording the video because I've already picked uh, today's orders. And uh, the weekend was uh, a bit slow this week to be honest with you um, until about Saturday evening from from Friday um, I only had something like one order in now it's picked up a little bit over the weekend and I assume that this is you know largely because of the warm weather people getting out uh, enjoying the uh, the temperatures uh, firing up the barbecue etc so totally understandable and we we are into mid-june now so um um probably you know not unexpected to be honest but anyway we um have ended up with um nine orders on bricklink and um that's uh, just 93 lots for uh, just shy of 2000 uh parts um and then on brick owl um we have a further eight and um nothing high in terms of lot count again so these were easy to pick i did do a, a couple uh yesterday and then i've finished off uh this morning and then on uh ebay uh let's take a look we've got three orders on ebay as well so let's have a quick look at um what we have got because as i say i have actually picked uh, the orders for today. I wanted to, to get done as early as possible uh, with the picking due to the, the temperatures and the stickiness and then I can focus on um, sorting and, and sort of, you know, um, just um, uh, getting more things added to the store where I can be in front of a fan and, you know, keep as cool as possible. But anyway, um, first up we've got a Miles Morales uh, minifig going out on eBay. Um, I had a customer reach out to me inquiring about uh, this head and its condition. I don't know if we can um, make much out on the camera here. It's not really focusing very well. Um, but... Um, this um, was a £13 uh, minifig head and it's for one of the Pirates of the Caribbean um, minifigs. They'd sold one, uh, I think, and realised that the the head um, wasn't in uh, as good a condition as they uh, recalled and sort of uh, replaced the head uh, on that figure. Now, um, some minifig parts going out here, um, just to, um, various torsos and uh, leg assemblies etc and just more you know parts orders nothing uh, super exciting a lot of uh, you know modest sized uh, orders uh, we've got an order going here which is all teal parts going off to the US um, which was nice and then um, one of my favorites um, uh, Dan has placed Another order with the store uh, using up some of these nice colours again and uh, we'll be getting that out to him uh, along with everybody else this morning even though he said uh, you know don't rush but um, you know given the amount of orders we've got this morning we've managed to get it out uh, quickly. Um, we've got uh, a base plate going out here with some other parts. Um, we've got a um, white uh, terrier dog going out we've got a couple more uh, ebay orders one is a guardians of the galaxy rocket raccoon that's the one with the blue suit and then we've got a minecraft uh, skeleton and a few parts for some uh, speed champions uh, sets so i'm going to get these packed up um get them off to the depot early post day today of course and then I think my job is to start tackling this uh, tub of uh, bulk that I brought back on Friday. Now I'm ready to tackle uh, the next tub of used bulk. And I've had several people asking me to put out more videos and in particular to just do a 
video of sorting Lego, um, which I'm sure for some people will be extremely boring. Other people seem to like, um, you know, seeing them while they're doing their own sorting, etc. So not sure whether this is going to end up in the main vlog or whether it's going to end up as a separate video or not just yet. Now, I picked this tub in particular because on the surface of things, there look to be a lot of two by four bricks in the tub, um, which I would like to uh, restock in the store. But at the same time, I'm very aware that um, a lot of the two by fours in here are possibly, um, you know, fake uh, bricks. So we'll just see how we go as we start sorting through. We'll see what we come across as always. Um, I won't be keeping the fake stuff, um, not even for charity shops or whatever, um, which I know irritates uh, some people, but um, I just uh, don't really have the time or space to be keeping that uh, separate. And I'd rather it doesn't find its way back into the, the used, um, um stream as it were and get mixed back in um we all have our different philosophies on it i'm sure um but that's uh, mine so anyway let's dive in and uh, see what we got and i'm as i said i'm going to be focusing on the two by fours so i'm probably going to pull those out first um picking out fake ones uh, straight away like this gray one um so they're going to go straight off as i've said some slopes now there's a couple of things stand out immediately on the top i'm not going to um, dismantle this but we've got a little build going on there we've got a couple of motorbikes uh on the top that i'm going to pull out and put into a, a tub that i keep for um larger kind of things so i have a tub at the side here um that i i emptied out on Friday I think to the, to a large extent but there's still a few things in there from possibly previous uh, videos I'll take these little um, builds out a few little cars and things I'm not going to spend time breaking them down um, there's a, a nice little uh, bush on the top there which is uh, worth a couple of pounds and I can see some um, little accessories and can see uh, a hat and uh, one of these uh, strawberry pies there from one of the collectible uh, minifig series so I'm going to pull that out we've got uh, some more minifig uh, related stuff so nice to be finding uh, minifig uh, things in here as well just checking these uh, two by four bricks uh, because they won't all be genuine It's one of the, the pains is once you know that there is um, a chance of some fake stuff in there, then you've you've pretty much got to check and double check everything. Now I've got a little plate drawer down here that I'm just going to open to drop any plates in. Found another little stack of bricks and three of those are fake. More fake stuff so that there's a good chance that in terms of the two by fours that there's possibly more fake than that than there is good stuff uh, you just never know but um, all you can do is uh, plod on and find what you can what you can find I do find um, in particular that certain Colours jump out more than others. Um, the um, the uh, bright light yellow in particular, or the equivalent of that. You know, you can you can see in a stack like this that that they're fake immediately almost. Um, so top one's not fake, 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 not fake. So fifty percent hit rate on that one. But um, plenty of them in here. Um, some stuff as well. I pull out any doors and windows, and they go over to one side. 
another reasonable minifigure find with the uh, corn suit uh, guy there. So not sure about um, how uh, how much talking there's going to be with this one because um, not a, a lot to say if I don't find very much. Um, and it'll end up probably being quite repetitive. Yeah, there's lots and lots of fake stuff. One out of that lot was actually real Lego. And that's where you can really come unstuck um, with some of your, your bulk purchases where you've got to be careful because you know if you just hit it wrong and you buy a used tub and it's almost all uh, fake then you know you're not going to do very well out of it at all. It's so hot today to be doing this as well now that looks like part of the the rest of the collectible minifigure there that that's the uh the the chef from the um collectible minifig series in fact that looks like the top of a, another one so possibly a couple of those in here If anyone's got any quicker ways of, you know, identifying, picking the bricks or checking them, I'm very happy to hear it. Usual little piece, not, I think I've seen that before. Bin. One of the problems is when you find lots of, um, you know, different different categories. You, you really sort of need to be geared up for the for the various categories and where to put them. Right, I'm trying to focus mostly, but I keep getting distracted. Uh, trying to focus mostly on the to buy bricks. But you get this kind of thing where you pick up a two by brick or you, what you think is a two by brick and it's a floor. Uh, some minifig hair. Just gonna have a little bit of a, a rummage. Oh my God, it is so, so hot. You'll have to forgive me if I keep saying that because um, I'm conscious as I'm literally uh, pulling these of the, of the sweat running down the back of my neck at the moment. It's just not, uh, not very pleasant at all. Sometimes hard to know where to put things. Um, even now, you know, having your categories, etc. Sometimes you look at something and you think, oh, not quite sure where to put that. Or you just don't feel like dealing with it at that time.
I did hear from someone the, the other day, I can't remember the make, but there was a, a fake brand that he'd come across in a, a bulk lot. And he was amazed at how much it f looked and felt like real Lego. And even the, um, even the writing on the stud sort of looked like Lego, even though it didn't actually say Lego, it was, it was very similar. And, um, you know, it's just going to get harder and harder to do all of this um, if, you know, it becomes that difficult to tell real and fake Lego apart. Another little mini fig come across. not familiar with that one not sure what it's from we'll have to have a little look For the, the big parts pile. Got more windscreens, windows, and things in a different uh, category over to my left. More printed tiles. These all look fake. One real one. Funny enough, the pink always seemed to be real. <laughs> I don't know if it's just um, the people who uh, create the fake bricks just don't like the pink colour. But you can almost guarantee when you get a pink one, it's going to be real. Green seems to be very popular and in terms of fake green, blue, red, yellow, white. They're all um, sort of main colours. For the fake, you don't tend to see things like your lavenders, your uh, lime, things like that. A nice little blue fish there. A bit of technique. I don't think there's going to be very much technique in, uh, in this. A few printed parts though. Broken piece there. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm not sure how long for, but I'm going to piss my granddaughter up in about uh, 25 minutes or so. So I will have to at least stop the recording for a little while while I pop out and uh, do my, my pickup duties. Thankfully, I've gotten the post office out of the way today already. what might be down here a minifig hat a little um, weapon slash utensil 
And I'm not here to find, you know, mini figs, of course, or um, any kind of uh, utensils always sell really well. Weapons. Anything like that, really. various little pots around the desk as well to uh, put some of the more unusual items into things like um, you know well, not unusual but um, things like studs and um, flowers uh, things like that One of the things I find the biggest challenges of doing the sorting is just sort of uh, the, the numbness, the boredom sort of uh, sits in or sets in rather. Um, after a while, you know, you're doing the same old thing time after time, pair of legs. If there's only a couple of things stuck together, then I'll I'll take them apart. But I'm not going to start dismantling, you know, half-built things like this. Um, they need to go into a separate uh, tub to be collected together for a time when I'm more receptive to sitting down and uh, digging through them and just breaking them down, spending an hour or two just breaking them all down to the component parts. And then going through all of this again, another blue fish there. I seem to have quite quickly sort of uh, scratched the surface of the the two by bricks was one of the which was one of the main reasons for sort of uh, getting this. But it doesn't really matter because everything's uh, useful at the end of the day. And it's just about building up your categories and working through these tubs. Just doing them as efficiently and effectively as you can. But it's all pretty time intensive stuff as I'm sure any of you guys who do this on a regular basis will know and this is the the big difference between doing your, your used versus the new stuff new is just so so easy to do I could do new all day long to be quite honest with you um, but you'll find treasure in in these kind of lots um, where you don't know what you're going to come across and then suddenly you'll come across a mini fig that might be worth 20 30 pounds in a tub of lego that you maybe only paid that for you know I started actually putting sort of minifig things and, and accessories um, into the same tub rather than splitting them because I find the minifigs are easy enough to split out later and it saves having the, the two dedicated uh, tubs.
I think especially when you're looking for, you know, essentially, essentially basic bricks um, is what you're looking for. And you know that they're not necessarily worth a fortune, but they're a staple part of um, your business and what you're selling, you know. Um, they're what people are typically coming to your store for amongst other things. And, and when they do come, to buy the basic things is when they're going to pick up and notice um you know other things and hopefully add those things to the basket and check out with more than they anticipated picking up when they uh called in at the store with a couple of things in my larger tub. I'm always um, probably a little bit surprised at how few plant-related parts I come across. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't find um, tons of them. you have to be careful with basic bricks and things that they don't have print on them now this isn't a basic brick obviously um you need to keep your printed um, parts separate but it's it's easy to have a, a little two by brick or a four by brick that you know ends up having a sticker on one side and you just i mean you'll pick them up when you do your secondary saw down from the main categories so at the end of the world if you don't pick them up here paperwork, larger item. Into the technical bin. Things like this, the lamp post. That'll go into my my figure being don't even know if that's lego or not i'm guessing not but i'll keep it for now because it could be off a technic figure or something like that that i'm less familiar with So if anything that's clear, windshield, windows, etc., I will put into the same tub typically. More fake stuff. There's a little 
chisel or screwdriver or something and some of these can be um, worth a little bit so you need to be careful what you're um, doing with them don't lose them a bit lazy and not using the brick separately sometimes Technique. stuff not too bad is here both for here like I'm making uh, a great deal of process, progress at the moment. Just trying to dig down a little bit and see, you know, what else there might be in here because sometimes you get a little bit ahead of yourself and you, you're hoping to come across something and you just want to see what treasure might be buried a little bit further down so you get a little bit bored working on the top of the pile and you just want to pull some of that up freshen up what you're looking at some uh, plates as well plates are always uh, great to stock up on real staple of what people want to pick up as well I just found one uh, in my uh, category bin that I just must have thrown in there earlier and it's a face so it just shows how careful you've got to be and it's not a, necessarily a single pass process because you're going to go past it this time and when you come to do you're sorting down from um, the categories later you're going to be doing another check and here's a part that's damaged if you see this it's broke anyway i was going to say it was just stressed but it's it's broke so that goes in the bin and there's not really a lot of use to us or printed stuff. So.
can be a pain when you get things stuck inside. Um, little bricks like this, you need something sharp to get them out really. I haven't got anything to hand. Which is where that little screwdriver would have come in handy. So I'm just gonna leave that to one side because I know that's gonna have to be uh, dealt with. There's an example as well of a, a slope that I'd thrown into the category bin and it's got a print on it. So I'm pulling that back out. Sure the reason it can be. More bricks at the rate, there's more paperwork. Always interested to know what categories people have got going on as well. Um, I, I know some people have like, I don't know, 20 something categories that they sort into and it's just a lot. It's just, you know, hard having that many categories um, close by to part into. So I try and reduce it a little bit um, further than that. Not easy though. Another five minutes and I'm gonna have to um, make a move so I may come back and do a bit more later on or maybe what I'll do is I'll just keep sorting and come back and maybe show you anything interesting that I might have come across to be honest if there's nothing super interesting, then I'm probably not likely to show you. So I've got another tub over here to start adding more of the wheels and tires and two that come across. Technique's a great example of where I find it difficult sometimes with uh, just to make decisions on, you know, the modified bricks. Do they go with the two by bricks? Do they go with the modified bricks category? Do they go in the Technic? And I can end up with a bit of a mix in each if I'm not careful. A few printed things in here. The printed things are funny because I, I kind of like the printed stuff, but of course, you know, the majority of them, you're, you're adding one item at a time, which um, is not only time consuming, it, you know, it can be a little bit sort of soul destroying as well. So you've got to be in the right mood to be listing printed things, to be honest with you. I think you've got to be in the right mood for anything that you're doing. I can't sort of force myself to sort like this, you know, every day. Um, I just think sometimes, you know, you're, um, it's a lot of standing still and, you know, 
kind of feel like you want to be moving around a little bit more than you than you tend to be when you're doing this. And get it a little bit more. Is it me or is that an unusual colour door? It looks like um, nugget or, or whatever. So it's um, not a colour I see every day, in a, especially in that part. More printed stuff. That's definitely... Well, it's going to one side. I was going to say that's definitely non-Lego, but I'll be honest with you, I've been caught out with some things before and uh, thrown them away only to find later that they were actually genuine pieces. And this is where the knowledge comes in. Experience, knowledge of parts. Just, you know, all you can do is build that up over time it's not something you can do immediately of course it'll come to you if you've done a lot of building in the past will be useful but you'll be amazed at how many people there are that haven't done that much building and yet um are running the store anyway um i've got to call that a, a, a day for the moment while i go on uh, collect my granddaughter from school and uh, as I say I might get back and do a little bit more in a little while it's now Tuesday the 13th of June and uh, yesterday I was uh, sorting some of this Lego out and I never uh, bothered going back on camera with it in the end because I just uh, wanted to focus on uh, getting through it and it was a little bit noisy in the house with the uh, grandkids around and um, not really uh, suitable for recording. I didn't really find anything uh, much unusual in here as I sorted. Um, we, um, uh, it was mostly sort of uh, basic bricks. Probably the the best things I found were these, was a cannon and a cannon base and a black uh, octopus, uh, but nothing uh, exciting at all. And now I'm probably gonna come back to this um, before too long and continue sorting through that. Um, in terms of orders for today, I've just finished picking them. And um, we've got a couple on eBay for a, a Camilla Friends figure and a Spidey uh, Spider-Man. And then the others are all um, parts uh, orders. This was the largest one of the day, it was 132 uh, lots. So it took a little while uh, to pick that one in particular. And then uh, another order for about another 64 lots there. Um, so I'm going to get these packed up now, ready for the post office, and then um, I'll probably carry on sorting through that tub for a little while longer. I did say earlier that uh, the next job was going to be going back to the used bulk uh, tub that I was working through earlier, but um, I forgot that I have a small part out that I need to get put away. It's only a couple of small sets. So isn't gonna to take too long. I'm in the middle of uh, doing that now, working from uh, the desk in the center of my laptop, uh, just to put uh, the parts away. Uh, working through in order of remarks because there's not too many cups, it's easy to um, put them away um, in this way rather than sorting by color, which is what I would do if I was doing a larger uh, part out so got to get this put away first and then I'll get back to the uh, used tub and try and break that down a bit it's Wednesday the 14th and I've just got four orders in this morning um, just a very quick flyover because they're um, just uh, fairly modest um, part orders and uh, yesterday I uh, had a little part out to put away uh, which I did 
Um, but then I uh, had some help um, who parted out another set for me. Um, it was a set that was laying around. Um, it was this uh, 60166. Uh, so it was this uh, Coast Guard helicopter set. And um, the funny thing about this was that it had been opened and it turned out that bag one uh, was completely missing. Um, there was a few loose parts in the box um, and the rest were sealed, uh, sealed bags. Now, that's meant that as I'm parting out, because I don't know what was in bag one, I'm having to be really careful and count everything as I go. So um, I did, started this yesterday, got most of it done, stopped for the evening and um, need to finish this off uh, this morning, which won't take long. You can see there's not uh, too many uh, pots left. Now, I do have a consultancy call uh, midday with an Australian seller um, who uh, wants to have a, a chat with me uh, about um, uh, improving their brick owl um, performance. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that chat. And then I'm going to focus on uh, this um, tub in between, uh, before and after that call. I'm going to try and get this down a bit more. And um, when I either get that empty or down to a level that I'm, I'm happy enough with, that uh, I'm not so interested in what's left, then I'm going to fall back and start uh, sorting some, some bricks, sorting some of those categories rather, and uh, getting uploaded to the store. So after coming back from lunch, I had a call with the uh, guy in Australia, which was a really interesting call, um, which uh, I know he found uh, particularly uh, useful. And uh, hopefully we're going to have a follow up call uh, to look at some other things of interest to him. And um, I've also managed uh, over lunch to pick up a couple of orders, uh, which um, in the middle of trying to get out the door in town for the post. Uh, we've got an order here for uh, Brazil, uh, going out to Brazil at least, and then uh, another order here of uh, some bulk uh, bricks, some 2 by 3s in uh, medium blue, 380 of those, and uh, some lime ones as well, and a few other bits and pieces. So I'm going to try and get them uh, out the door today. I have got a rush in a minute to do a, a pickup um, of one of the grandkids, and... Um, I'll see if I can squeeze these into the post at the same time. It's Thursday the 15th and it's just after lunch actually because I didn't bother filming this morning because there was not really um, too much of interest. Um, we've got a couple of orders in uh, this morning from one from Bricklink, one from Brickal. Uh, that's how quiet it is. Um, these were pretty good though. These are dark blue um parts here those were three pound each um so there were a good find and those came out of one of the used lots and then here um i think i listed this last week this is one of the bionicle masks in a pearl gold uh this is the order that um was uh waiting for a response from the customer that's going to brazil so that came in actually yesterday afternoon and i was just waiting for a personal tax id for that and then on um, eBay, we've got a Lois Lane going out. Now, I have received something uh, in the post. We've got these couple of uh, Gremlin figures that uh, I was able to get from a customer, a uh, watcher of the channel, and they uh, took store credit for those. So I was really pleased with that. And um, we'll look at getting those listed uh, shortly. Uh, we'll get these packed uh, away and ready for the post office. Now this morning I've been finishing off the uh, tub of used Lego so you can see it's completely empty now and all that remains that is unsorted is what's on this tray. Um, I don't know how much further down I'm going to go. Um, you know it's difficult to know whether to go all the way and part everything but it's so time consuming. I'm tempted to uh, dump what's left in the bottom of a tub and um, you know leave that uh, for another time, let, let the tub build up as we get down to the dregs like this and then work through it at a later date. But we'll see, I've pulled all of the 
major stuff out you know the two by uh, bricks the one by bricks any minifig parts and things like that so it has had a pretty good um once over or uh, twice over even uh, but we'll see uh, i may give it another half hour and uh, see where i get to and um then i best get some more stuff listed six orders to start us off with uh, friday and um all parts orders so nothing uh too much to say about them uh this is uh two orders from the same uh buyer regular buyer and um we uh will keep these separate although we ship them together we'll uh um put the order numbers on the bag so that they are easily distinguishable for them um there are some minifig parts actually some um uh, leg assemblies and a few other bits and pieces going out there and a few parts and minifigs on that one then here uh, we've got things in a little bit more bulk and uh, we've got 70 of these um largish 37 by 14 tires going out and then we've got a bunch of plates and uh, various other bits and pieces there uh we'll get those packed up in a little while i'm not going to uh, rush to do them we'll probably get a couple more orders in hopefully uh before the end of the day i'll do them together um this is a next job for me uh, this is a bunch of one by bricks uh that have been sorted for me and we've got quite a few um tan and light bluish gray bricks in this lot so i thought i would get them uh done um it was quite obvious when i was doing the last tub that there were lots of the same uh, brick and parts. And I noticed there were a lot of parts, I'm not saying these are them, but there were a lot of parts that come from the um, um, the Destiny's Bounty, the larger one uh, that was out probably four or five years ago. There was a lot of parts in the tub from that. And we've so we've got things in reasonable uh, quantities um, that will get listed and uh, ready for sale and uh, then i'm going to keep working through uh, some of these bags that we've got um, i've got some stuff in the tub down here that's all bagged um, separated into uh, categories and color and everything so probably do them and i might try and get rid of this bag as well although this isn't doing anything for me other than um adding bulk really um uh, i think it won't even add any new lots i don't think so i'm more concerned about where i'm actually going to put that stuff um when i've listed it but um sometimes it's good to get the bulk uh, listed and it will sell uh in large quantities maybe um so we can we can try that and uh, see how we get on a couple of things to get onto ebay today as well uh so busy day ahead so I've spent a little bit of time uh, adding some used parts to a brick store file. Um, all one by bricks. Only managed to get sort of 1300 items or so. And I have um, also added a few extra bits and pieces uh, to the file in the shape of some tiles and um, things like this uh, black octopus and the cannon and a couple of other bits and pieces. But um, I'm going to think about bulking up um, the store with this box that I've got on the floor here. And um, as I said in the previous video, I don't think there's anything sort of new in here um, in terms of lot count. But we've got bags of, of this kind of thing with um, some 500 of them. But I have no idea what the colour is. So I'm going to have to open all of the bags anyway. I'll probably check the counts as well and then uh, we'll add them to the store. Um, no idea where I'm gonna put them. Uh, once I've counted them, I've already got a fair amount of uh, bulk stuff uh, needing a haul that um, I need to sort out my bulk bins, um, to be honest with you. Got all of this to get put away as well. And um, I wanna get that done and then probably into next week now, but I think I'm gonna look at um, possibly uh running a sale on some of the bulk stuff that i've got i've never ever run a sale before on my store and um i'm just aware of the you know the significant quantities of some things that i've got 
and um, I think it's worthwhile putting a bit of a sale on some of them, especially if they're uh, sort of slow moving. It's not going to be a store wide sale if I do do one at all. Um, it will be more of a targeted um, sale on uh, things that I've got in bulk or uh, slow moving. Well, that was the quickest I think I've ever emptied one of these boxes. Um, probably took me, I want to say, an hour at the most. And you can see that the pile over here has grown uh, significantly. Um, need to find somewhere to put this lot. Um, but if I look at what came out of that box, um, we've got... 19,000 parts just over in just 24 lots so uh, the difficult part uh, not so much difficult but time consuming was obviously the counting um, there were lots and lots of bags of 500 of the same um, uh, item the same uh, clip hinge uh, uh, plate and um, I ended up with four and a half thousand of those so, uh, you know, some big lots here, five and a half thousand of these brown round tiles. Um, so, you know, some, uh, some biggish uh, bulk quantities and um, not the quickest 20,000 I've ever added to the store, if I'm honest, um, but still um, a pretty quick uh, 20,000 hit. And at the moment that's shown a value of 783 pounds but i haven't adjusted that uh yet i haven't set my own pricing up um which i need to do and um yeah that'll be uh a good boost to the inventory just in time for the weekend so i just uploaded uh that file that i've been working on with uh, what worked out to be uh just over twenty thousand parts with the other used items that i'd added earlier in the day and the great news is it's got me back over the 700,000 mark so I'm now at 713,567 and I'm also over my 13,000 uh, lot count again so really happy uh, with that um, I still want to do some things next week um, looking at uh, the inventory looking at the things that I've got high volumes of looking at setting up some uh, scaled pricing on those and offering uh, a sale on some of those items as well I think and hopefully that'll help to move uh, some of those things but a good afternoon's work and uh, really happy going into the weekend. <laughs>